everyone, Stacy here from Dies to Die For. Welcome to Thursday night's card making. Tonight we're going to be doing this using the new flower pots and doing this in my thoughts card. And I am attempting to film at home again because they're still working outside of my building and it's just too noisy there. Um, I think I fixed the lighting situation, but we're still on the tripod that's a little bit wobbly, so sorry about that. Let's get started with our card. Okay, first, I took a an A2 base and then I cut another piece of white just shorter than my A2 base. I think this is four inches, just on the sides. I didn't cut the top or the bottom because I wanted just a little bit of white showing through just to create. And then I popped the the green piece up on pop dots if you can see that just to create a little like shadow box effect kind of I guess then we're gonna take our this is our driftwood background plate die I haven't used this one in a while so I thought it would be kind of fun to use this I really like this die we also have the wood fence die that's similar but it's the wood fence die is straight across Put a little bit of glue on the back of this and this um, driftwood piece I cut out in gray and then I inked around the edges in gray and I also inked the inside a little like I lift these up and then I ink those edges right in the middle oh and I ink this this white background piece I think I forgot to say that in green to kind of make it look like grass was showing through a fence sorry I'm, I see I'm shaking the tripod again I have to be a little gentler okay now I took our random circle wreath right here and I'm going to be using the larger wreath part. Let me grab my thing to glue on so I'm not getting glue all over my... I cut this out in teal and then I inked around the edges in a, a blue color. I believe it was Clear Skies by Simon Hurley. This does take, it has all those little fine lines, so takes a little bit of gluing. And this wreath, I'm going to put more, a little bit more towards the top of the driftwood piece because I'm going to put my flower pots down here. And I just want this raised up above them a little bit more. Then I took our little flower pots. Where is my flower pot die? Right here. This is our new flower pot die. It comes with the three different pot sizes and then two little plants. But if you don't want to use the plants themselves, you can just chop that off right there and use the dirt inside of the pot like I did here. And then this size dirt will fit either in the, let me show you, in the medium size pot or you can put it in the smaller pot too. You just have to snip these edges. Let me show you what I did to the flower pots really quick. I did the same thing on both, both colors. So I just went around the edge in gray really quick. And then I always bend these and try to get that little crease. Bend that up. But then I also took the distressed ink, the uh, tattered rose. And I went 
in a little bit further than my gray kind of make it look like a terracotta pot and it's wet right now when it dries it won't be that bright but you can kind of see on these how I wiped it across the inside like that to give it a little bit of texturing like a pot just want to show you guys that because it looks really cool in person I don't know how well it shows up on a video but all right then I took our tulip dies which we also used on Tuesday I believe and our daffodils and our crocus again and I cut them out twice each I cut them out in the shimmery white paper that I also used in Tuesday's video and then I inked the flower parts and the the leaves in different colors and I already assembled all of those with the paper I or with the dirt I cut out a tan paper and then I just took my brown ink pad and my brush I don't have another piece to show you but I just dip it in the brown a little and then I go like that to give it kind of a sand effect okay let's put these down and most of these pieces I already have assembled because it's a lot of this card has a lot of assembly on it cutting those all those inking all those flowers and then cutting them takes a while okay so this flower pot the two darker color flower pots I want raised up a little bit higher than the the peach colored one I'm gonna put this right down there but I want these up a little higher am I still on camera yeah in the camera frame I have my tripod set up a little bit higher tonight than I did on Tuesday night because being able to see myself in the video while I was doing this was a little distracting for me so now I just have to keep looking up a little bit higher and making sure I'm still in the frame okay that one kind of right there these flower pots are so much fun and they look so cute put our little pot full of crocus down here then the last two things to do is the word and I I'm doing our in my thoughts word right there but you could use pretty much any word a flower card could go for anything like thinking of you get well soon once we get to the slimline card I actually have a few different sentiment options cut out this card we're just gonna do in my thoughts and I'm missing my little lilies need three of them and for this we're using the Easter lily dye just the small lily part chose the in my thoughts for this one because I thought I could send something like this to um, one of my friends was in a car accident last week and she actually passed away on Saturday so I'm thinking a card like this would be nice to send to her family 
That's why I chose the sentiment I did on this. Oh, I already put glue on that, didn't I? And I just put one lily on one side and two on the other. Just, I don't know, it's a balance thing. Now on my original card, my um, daffodils were down a whole lot further. But on this one, I think the sentiment is going to have to go across that top daffodil. One off. There we go. There's that card. Now, I could show you how to do a slimline card using this background plate, but let me see. If you guys promise not to tell anyone, I will show you something special because this has not been released yet and it won't be released until May, but I really feel like using it tonight. So we have our slimline driftwood plate. Just keep it between us, our secret, because I already told my design team they couldn't start using it until the middle of April, so don't tell them either. If you guys are watching, plug your ears real quick. So I have already cut out and assembled up to my driftwood background plate. Look at that. Isn't that great? Normally... I would cut this out for you guys twice and then figure out how to seam it in the center and cover the seam, but we don't have to do that on this card. Isn't that great? I can't wait until we have slimline background plates in the same size as all of our A2 background plates. Okay, now for this card, we could have done it the same way. I've already assembled all the pots and everything on this again. Okay, we could have done it the same way and just pulled these down a little bit further like that, but I didn't think that filled up enough space. So what we are going to try to do is use all three of the wreath sizes that comes with the random rectangle wreath and just fill up this whole card. So I was thinking maybe one, since there's three size pots and there's three size wreaths, that we could do one pot per wreath. But that means we want to start this wreath way up here, right? Because this is the one that's going to have my sentiment. And I think unlike the other, the other card, I think I'm going to tuck that pot right behind that wreath. What do you guys think? Then when I get to it, whatever sentiment I choose, I can just leave the sentiment in the pearly white color and put it right over top of that pot. I'm kind of liking it. Okay, let's lay our wreaths out in our pots and see where they're going to fall. Is this the right pot? It has to be. I thought I had another tulip in it. Oh, that's why, because I never glued those down. I did have another tulip in it. Look at this. We just happen to have another tulip, too. So we could shove that little one right in there, too. Now, for the wreaths as we go down, should I put them off to the side like I did... The flower pots, I mean, off to the side like I did on the, the top one, or should I center them more? Let's see. Let's play with it a little bit. And I don't know if anybody else does this, but like if I put something on this side of my card, then the next one is going to go on the opposite side, and I'm just going to keep varying back and forth. I don't know if that's just me that's weird and does that or if everybody does that, but that's the way my mind works with it. This little guy, it's kind of hard to keep him on that side. But I was thinking, because I have... Okay, let's decide what word we want to use first. We have feel better, which I'm kind of leaning towards the feel better right now. 
we have the thank you. I think this needs to go down a little bit more because anything behind those tulips is going to get lost. Thank you is not bad. Uh, miss you. That would be an appropriate one for for the last year. Where we have the I'm here. And then I must not have grabbed because the I'm here word has the um, also has a part that says I'm here for you. I must not. Oh, I see it way up here. If I did the I'm here, I could do something like for you down here. Mm, I don't know about that. You could just say I'm here too. You wouldn't necessarily need the for you. Okay, let's play with this again. Sorry, I just... What if you did something like that? No. Nope, nope, nope. Don't like it. Is that even... I'm sorry, you guys. We're not even in the frame up there. Okay, let's go through that again. I'm here. Feel better is what I'm leaning towards. Again, I guess with this tripod set up, it's going to be hard to do. show you guys slimline cards. I'm going to have to start doing them this way. No, I don't want to do that that way. Or, that's why this design is so nice with the flowers, because you could really use it for anything. You could add the spring flowers words. I kind of like that. Or you could just do something like sorry. Or this sorry actually comes off of the sorry you're sick or hurt set. So do sorry you're sick. I had um, two friends diagnosed with COVID today, so that would be a fitting card for them. I won't say their names because that's their personal business, but we all hope you guys get better fast. And then, once I decide on a word, I'm going to add a few lilies here. That's why I'm thinking push the pots over to the sides then when you add the lilies going down you can add a few that side a few that side and then maybe a couple down here if you can see that dang it we're not in the frame again a couple like that Okay, so what word? I was just trying to distract myself from deciding on a word. I think I gave myself too many options. When I have too many options, it just confuses me. So I'm thinking either the thank you, the miss you, or the feel better. Oh, here's a little, come here. Here's a little hurt word that goes with the sorry you're sick. So. Am I in the frame? Okay. Let's go through those again. Miss you. Feel better. I know. Helping me decide on words is boring. Or thank you. You could even turn it into a birthday card or anything you want. Sorry, I don't have any of those words cut out. I'm just thinking ahead. Okay, we're going to set these over here for right now. I'm going to start gluing things down. Now that we've made decisions on where this stuff's going to go. 
first, before I move anything, I am going to take my wreath and just maybe put, ooh, that was a little bit too big of a dot of glue. I like to do that and put a dot of glue in one spot. That way it stays exactly where I want it. Then I can turn it over and glue the rest of it. And I should have this on my, my gluing clipboard so I don't get it all over my mat. Because I don't know if any of you guys have the basic gray mat, but it is a pain to get glue off of. And you can't really scrape it, otherwise all these little white lines, you scrape them right off. Someday I'll, I'll invest in a fancy glass mat or something. And I'm doing this video extremely late because it was a very busy day. So I'm very tired. It's probably, actually, we shouldn't even call this a Thursday video anymore. It should be my Friday video because it's probably one o'clock in the morning. But hey, that's when I get time to do this kind of stuff. When all the kids are in bed. Well, all except for one of them. We do still have a five-year-old that does not like to sleep that is up currently with his dad downstairs okay where are we gonna put this one see if I can refrain from getting so much glue on it this time that was a little better Am I still in the frame for you guys? I have to keep remembering to move that up. Oh, and I forgot again. We I never glued those. Tulips down in there, did I? Shove those little guys down in there. Okay, and I want that just overlapping a little bit. I don't want it to be too much, and I don't want it sticking off the edge too far. I don't want it to be in line with this. I want it to be kind of doing its own thing a little, a little bit further in. The flower pot probably got glued down too far, but I'm okay with it because this one you can even see underneath the wreath. I'm good with them. Now, the last little guy. I can foresee having a lot of fun with these flower pots. Stay tuned for more videos. <laughs> really told my husband these flower pots are so cute with the flowers in it. I just want to make up a bunch of pots and flowers and sell them like that. Maybe that's something to add to our website because whenever I cut out a card like this I always cut out a million pieces <laughs> so much more than I will ever need on the card like right now I have a whole bin full of flowers that I cut out for just this card could put those to use huh okay got that glued down now, 
let's see where we want to place some lilies because I'm still looking at these words and I'm undecided. Maybe a couple of lilies there. A couple a little further down there. And there that just doesn't work for me because then we have six lilies do we have another small lily somewhere I thought I did I guess not I'm gonna have to add another one later or we could go like this that little one doesn't really need two lilies does it I don't know why it's just that number thing what about we have some big lilies in here are you guys even seeing the bottom of the card here let me spin this a little no nope. okay I'll leave it that way what do you think about the big lily in there add a big lily in Maybe just on this big wreath right here. I guess it would depend on what word I chose. Huh? Well, I definitely know I want to go with the one lily down here. So we'll put that down. And then let's glue these down because I'm pretty sure I'm probably coming close to my 27 or 29 minute video limitation those there okay now this is all glued down down here now we just need to make some decisions up here you guys still see that The lily's kind of over the daffodils. Okay. Word decision time. I think thank you fits in there nicely. Hmm. I don't know. I was leaning towards the feel better, but now I'm thinking that it needs to be miss you. Yep. Okay. It's decided. It's going to be miss you. Thanks for the help on that one. Get some glue on this. Am I still on camera over here when I'm gluing? Yes. Dab it off just a little. And I have a little spot left in my S. Now this Miss You word is one of our very few words that I did not connect the little dot on the eye and I absolutely hate putting the dots on the eyes let's see if this little funky piece that I Nope, that's not going to work. So 